Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. So, this is a clip which I did not think that I would be uh, doing, to be quite honest with you, or at least I thought that it would be much more of a positive, much more of a happier one. So my message to you is, you have been in lockdown for a very long time if you are in the UK. You have waited for a haircut for a very, very long time. Do not rush your post-lockdown haircut. I didn't, but I did book to have my hair cut, a light trim, on the second day we were allowed. So that was Tuesday the 13th, the second day after all the measures were adjusted so that hairdressers, barbers, salons, that type of thing could be opened. And the second day I went and had my hair cut. Now, let me just put this across to you at the moment as well. So I am going through some health problems at the moment where I'm feeling really quite low, really quite down. Each day is a challenge. Um, worst time of my life, to be quite honest with you, dealing with health problems and one thing and another. And my hair is something which I take a lot of pride in. Um, I like and I sport all different styles, but my hair was getting longer. It was down to my chin. So it was long and it had a nice sway about it. It was thin because it was cut into back in December, but it was growing that out and it was growing longer. And it was in really good condition, as a lot of my subscribers and viewers will know. So on Tuesday, which was yesterday, it's only Wednesday and it's not quite set in yet, I had my hair cut. Now, of course, this is the person who has cut my hair for many, many years on and off. The person who usually used to cut my hair about a year ago went on maternity leave. But this lady who cuts my hair now is not a stranger to my hair type. She's not a stranger to my hair at all. I've had her cut my hair for many years. I've gone to the same place. And I've only ever had short breaks since I was about 16, maybe 17. And I'm now 27. Yeah, I've had one or two issues in the past, but this is a bit of a shock to me. It's not a bad cut, but here goes. So you have a mask on now when you have your hair cut, don't you? And I think that's that's uh, that's the norm, I think, for most of the Western world, actually, with the coronavirus pandemic. Um, so I had a mask on. Now, getting to the hairdressers is very difficult for me. Um, I walk with a crutch now because of some problems which I'm having with my leg and groin from two previous uh, failed hernia surgeries. So even getting there is very difficult for me, let alone sitting in the chair. So I can be guilty of possibly not paying attention. But I really don't think that I made the mistake here. And possibly the lady who cuts my hair didn't make a mistake either. But what I would say is I asked for a trim. Now my hair, and you can probably just see a long hair floating about here. So my hair was, well, this side was about to my jaw, as you can see from this long hair, which is just left here. I've got a couple around here and at the back as well. And hopefully you'll be able to see from here that this is not straight or even chipped in or relatively equal. I've got long hairs, which are all down here. And I had hair, which throughout lockdown, I gave a slight trim to myself and it was coming as a nice straight sort of line, but a little bit up and down. So there was a little bit of texture in it, but generally the sort of the line was around my face because I was growing my hair out. Now I wanted a trim. Now the thing what happened is my hair was brushed back, was brushed back and she was cutting my hair. Um, sort of to the point where I couldn't see it. I didn't really dawn, it didn't really dawn on me how much was kind of being cut off because generally when you say that you want a light trim, I would think maximum about of a centimeter, not this. And in places, this is how much has been cut off. So a bit of a shock, but anybody who's following me on my channel or any of my viewers, you'll know that I've been growing my hair for quite a while to cover hearing aids. Now the one thing which is good, which was left, was my sides, which I'm growing out. My sides I'm growing out now because I want to incorporate that in the style. But as you can see, it's it's something which has really, really got me. And I'm gonna have to have a look at how I'm styling my hair now 
as you can see what I've done today is I've swapped one side around and I've just pulled the length off what's remaining of the length off onto one side. I've been busy with working things today so I needed something which was going to work quite quickly but now when I dry my hair it's just <sighs> a bit speechless to be quite honest with you. I went for a light trim, very small amount off. I was thinking of dusting. Why on earth when you go and have your hair cut? I do find that actually whoever cuts my hair they're very anti-long and they're very sort of anti-leaving hair alone. It's very much chop 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 right into the hair taking the thickness taking the weight out and then hacking at the length. I mean this looks nice okay here. I am gonna have to grab my hair cutting shears because I do cut hair myself only as a very amateur um, level and I do it for certain family members who have been very very pleased. I would never approach a cut like mine for example only sort of very short sort of one one sort of length maybe maybe some fading at the sides that type of thing something quite simple um, and I've and I've practiced it for a long time so I'm relatively quite good at that but when it's for longer cuts and things I have experimented and I have done very well but it's taken a long long time lots of preparation and things this I'm afraid parts of my hair looks like it's been cut by a child and you've just handed a pair of scissors over because I mean I don't know if I can even I mean here for example if I just come in front in front of the window I've got hair to here and I've got a square piece cut off here and this this happens quite a lot here so it resembles of just being quite hacked which yeah not my finest hour I have to admit Please don't rush into your post-lockdown haircut, don't rush into any haircut, and most of all, the communication with whoever cuts your hair is vitally, vitally important. Because at the end of the day, what they think you want might not be what you've told them or what you want. So please learn from my mistake, because my nice long hair, which I really, really enjoyed and really liked having, I'm going to have to wait a, quite a few months now for it to come back. Um, I've got an operation coming up as well, so it was, and it's quite an extensive operation, it's quite a long recovery, so I wanted something which would be a little bit more easier, something which the ends I just wanted tidied up, smartened up, of course, final hair grows out of length, doesn't it, it grows out of sort of the shape which you've got it in, so I wanted it put back into sort of a nice style so it was healthy at the ends, and I didn't have to worry about it, so it just looked really good, I could wash it, leave it, and it would be fine for whilst I was recovering or throughout the operation. Now I've got this weird sort of chipped in, sort of hacked parts of my hair. So I will be having a little bit of a go, as you can see, look at this, can you see? What's that? I've got like long, yeah, yeah, it's a bit, it's really annoying me to be quite honest with you. Um, as I say, not my finest hour. Um, yeah, so big message from this, don't rush into your haircuts and make sure the person who's cutting your hair knows exactly what you want. I so wish I'd have said just a small amount. I wish I'd have just went just this, just this please, not this, just this. All the ends just smartened up, sort of made to look a bit thicker. Yeah, you've cut the thinness off and yeah, you've cut some of the bleached hair out, but you've also took a lot of, I mean, look, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually quite sad because, look, this was all down here. I don't even know how this was cut. Really? I haven't had my hair like those short lengths for a long time. I think what the person's tried to do is put like some layering on the top. But I mean, I'm a man for goodness sake. I didn't want all these sort of chip layered pieces in my hair. I mean, that was way down here. And of course, when the person brushed my hair right back, you can't see, can you? You can't see what's going on at the back. It wasn't until I actually got up and I seen how much hair was on the floor. And she was very clever when she styled my hair after I left as well, because it was off to one side and swept everything sort of in a bit more of a wetter look off to one side. Not how I went in originally and how I wanted to walk out with my style. 
so therefore you wouldn't have known how short it was until it was washed. So yeah, annoyed, you could say. But hopefully, as my channel, <laughs> hopefully that all of my uh, views, uh, my viewers, all my subscribers, please learn from my mistake. Make sure you talk to the person who cuts your hair. Make sure that they understand what you want and make sure that you are happy before they start hacking away, cutting away and using those shears. OK, so, yeah, I'm, a, I'm feeling a little bit rubbishy. I have to admit, I'm feeling uh, with all these health problems, things going on, facing this worry, worrying sort of scary operation coming up. Um, I was really actually looking forward to having a haircut I really loved and just kind of enjoying the experience being I haven't had a haircut for so long. Um, yeah, pretty enough, pretty enough, I have to admit. Okay, so on that note, on that note, well, I grab the tissues <laughs> um, and wipe these tears away. No, not really. I'm not that vain, I have to admit, but um. It does when I when I can't when I can't cover my hearing aids up so well now as well. It's um it does it's it's not it's not great. I wouldn't wish a bad haircut on anybody. Um and I'm really gonna have to spend some time smiling up myself. And my family, uh, my mum and my nan really do believe that I am very good at cutting hair. I mean I've cut their hair before, but of course it's not extensive cuts. It's not sort of looking in the back of your in the mirror trying to cut your own, which is notoriously difficult. So. Perhaps I should have given my own uh, hair um, a cut. Perhaps I should have given it a go. Okay, um, lesson to be learned there. <laughs> okay, so thanks very much for watching my clip. I hope you've learned a lesson from me. Um, and until next time, hopefully I'll be sporting a real nice looking style. Um, and yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye bye now.